Uh, this is yet another special episode of the Skalo Podcast, episode 22, that is brought to you by Skalo Pictures in partnership with Ketas Red Soul, uh, together with uh, a latest makeup zone, ZW. My name is Washington Sivanda, a.k.a. Uma Rasta. Uh, today, we are talking uh, junior development. We are talking which goes by the name Zebras Revolution. Joining me today is President, CEO, Coach Angas in Angloza Stella, which put us in co. Welcome to Skalo Podcast episode 22. Uh, thank you for having me. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. So maybe you can call President, CEO, Ogo Yeko Yubi. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's founder, President, and uh, Director of uh, Zebra Revolution. All right, so when was Zebra's Revolution FC founded? Uh, it was founded uh, on my birthday in uh, 18 June uh, 2015. That was the day we founded Zebra Revolution. So 2015, it was always, it has always been called Zebra Revolution. Maybe why Zebra Revolution? One would want to understand. Well, uh, Zebra Revolution, Zebra because I'm a Dube. Then Revolution is the first team that I played for when I went outside the country. So it made sense for me because it's where I made my name. So just putting the, the two together, it made sense and it, it, feels, it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe going forward, what's the vision of uh, the team is the Revolution? What's the vision of uh, the Revolution? Uh, our vision has always been simple. It's, it's about the empowerment of, 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 of the youth. Uh, me coming from... Chavalala and, and Sizinda, we thought of uh, empowering our boys, not just to become footballers, uh, to be just uh, great footballers and 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 and, and, and good uh, human beings. So the revolution is from Chavalala. Does it mean that it only caters for the youngsters from Chavalala, or it caters for almost each and every youngster we have got? A passion to be a professional footballer tomorrow. It's, uh, it's a revolution from Chawala uh, because it's where I grew up. Uh, but it's, it, it gives every every youth an, an opportunity to come and, and, and be part of, of of what we're trying to do, which is to empower the youth. So how does one get to be part of the revolution? What channels does one take? Umbe ulom zali mepi ulom tana office uta zali poor. How do they reach out to you? How do they take their child to the press revolution? Uh, one good thing that we have done, we we are all over this, uh, social media. We have our our, our um, Facebook page, Instagram page, and we have our Twitter. So you can contact us uh, through that. Also, we have. Uh, our Zebra Revolution email, which is uh, Zebra Revolution FC at gmail.com. So these these are the, uh, are, the, are the channels that you can go through and get to ask whatever questions you have about the team. Oh, uh, today we're joined by Kokeli Mshoza to Nansam Kumbula Lapana Za Shiny. So, Lapani Posi Lali experience and same genie Tiango. But unfortunately, you can't be in what's the one is there. But well, today we're not talking about Highlanders FC. School man is Zebra's revolution. Uh, going forward, uh, what's the structure like for Zebra's revolution? Do you have the under 12s, under 13? You can see Well, the, the, the structure is from, from, from the executive. We, we have a, 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 a group of guys that really work hard. We have our chairman, uh, Silon. Uh, he, he, he is the executive. Then we have uh, our vice chairman, Ngobizi uh, Chamboko. Then we have our committee member, Sanangurai Mushowe, and another one, Charlie Chamboko. These guys work so hard to make sure the day-to-day running of the, of the club uh, is functioning well. Then when it comes to the coaches, we have, we have a couple, couple guys that have played the game. Uh, recently, we, we, we had... Uh, we got our, our, our goalkeeper coach, uh, the legend Johannes Chuma, uh, from from the legendary Highlanders team from back in the day. Mm-hmm. And then we have uh, Mteo Masigu. He used to play for for Restas. He's part of the team. We we have Moses Jackson, who's still playing for Chickenin. He comes when he gets time. He comes and support the, the boys as well. We have our legendary coach from Chavalala, 
Josiah Piri. Yeah, he's, he's in a wheelchair. Uh, he coached me when I was young, so we decided to to bring him in because he's got a great eye for talent. Yeah, talking about Josiah, I'm sure I was seeing there is a sort of an initiative that you did for Uwabu Piri. Maybe if you can take us through that, since you are saying that he is the man that coached you and you decided to bring him since he has got an eye for a young talent. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's, it's something emotional for us as a Zebra Revolution because he's been in the game for forever. If you can think about it, I was, I was once a, a junior and he was still my coach. And having him being disabled, you know, we, we try to raise some money for him. Because sometimes the wheelchair he uses, it's not in good shape. So we decided to have a walk for him. And we got support from a couple guys and we're still working on getting a, a, a new wheelchair. So if you get anyone who wants to support what we, we're doing for him, he's free to, 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 to contact us uh, in, our, in our email address. We'll, we'll give you the email address. Because he's, he's a big part of what we're trying to do. It's all about empowerment. And him just being there, he encourages every, every child who, who are disabled that they can have an opportunity to be part of, of, of such a, a big success. And also talking about the structure that you mentioned uh, from the executive up until to the coaches, uh, how supportive have they been in terms of uh, trying to see that vision that we have for the team? And uh, maybe what kind of criteria did you use to actually pick those guys so that you can bring them and you work with them? Uh, first of all, I looked at the guys that uh, were close by. Josiah is from Sisinda, and we have coached Katuza is from Sisinda as well. I played with Mteo Masigu uh, back in the day, and he's from Sizinda as well. So I tried to bring people from, from the area so that we empower each other. Because it's, it's, always, it's always easy to get someone from outside the area. But we thought about the guys that are around in the area who can come and, and, and help. And if you look at these guys, they've played, they've been successful. So they're going to be a motivator to the, to the guys that we have. So no, if you look at Moses, Moses from Harare, he's in Blawai, but he come, he come and join us. We've got uh, Johannes Chuma, he's from Wange. If you look at the roots, so we're just getting everyone who can come and, and, and be part of what we're trying to do. So I did Kate. I know, Kate. Now, now, if you have call questions, you can apply, you can give you a <laughs> uh, So that's um, Kokeli uh, Dube uh, for you, uh, saying that uh, Zephyr's Revolutions caters for everyone. Hey, about our Kate. So allowing now was who's telling what I want to do so to add some value uh, to the team. This really a social media company that I have my email. I send your CV. Maybe soon I will also respond. And then I'm sure. Are there any prospects of having a girls team? I'm sure you mentioned the team of Vinico. No, no, we we we're still an upcoming team, right? May we want to to be able to help the girls team because I feel like right now. In a way, it's a disadvantage to the, to the girl child. And we need to, like we're saying, we're trying to empower every kid from every neighborhood. So in a, in a couple of years, in a year or two, I think we introduce the girls. But we have to start with the young ones, you know, so that they understand our philosophy and what we stand for. you tell you start from the under 13, We our youngest, our youngest player is seven years old. So we cater from seven going upwards. Yeah, because so we want them to come and enjoy, which is, which is important in development. Whatever kid comes to us, they have to come and enjoy what we're doing. And if they enjoy, then the others will come and join us. So in terms of what are some of the challenges that you have faced ever since you founded the team and probably how have you managed to conquer them? First of all, it was it was uh, the acceptance of, of, of our community. You know, having a team. If or fail school. So for Tina, it was that challenge. We have to go and convince my parents. Football can be a life changer, and it's easy because my parents are going to school. So now. Having us, 
being the role models of our fan lab and we have done that is puma chabala la kona pa now it gives a motivation to my parents to be part of it it was a challenge at first but we were a great idea for us as a club we 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 engage my parents we go to their homes we tell them what we're doing singabona munye le sicatle singane isidabukile if we have money that month staying is that to us yeah so that shows what is not about it bored up there it's more than football we trying to build a family where we, if we are able we can help these other kids mapugu stuff like that yeah bo ukuthi ama parents that they they come and support their kids because you ngakhangela back in the day umzali babe ngafunisa isidlali bora also ngabe boreni ngabe ngabe endlini yefu chayo ngoswazi but now is encourage my parents come and watch your kids you know it's it's, it's it's so special for a, for a, for a, a trophy old ukuthi adlale akakhaya lephandle abona umzali wakhe yabo so the culture here to yengela ku kunoko but now we're trying to change that culture to bring in parents to support what their kids are doing oh uh, so uh, uh, as a follow up so you actually saying that we are, it's it's more than football besides uh, incorporating the boys to play football you also go an extra mile in ngaku khona ukhona beat buying books for our school or just start to lead us and how supportive have been the parents in uh, in your initiative and the no the, pa- the community chabalana the parents have been really su- supportive if you come to our games my fans who are now are the parents because if you look at the boys that are playing in division 2 now they are 18 19 and we started with them when they were 12 so the parents know what he, they are more for our kids than them because they spend most of the time light yeah bo so if they come and support it gives us the edge too as coaches as the executive what he, we must do more so that we have a lot of kids coming to our club oh, many in terms of uh, the support uh, in terms of corporates coming in and also partners do you have people that you have partnered with that you are working with and there are also potential partners that you will also want to engage so that they can come and support the cause uh, at, at first it was more of the guys in the executive coughing uh, in my friends comments up having fights with the the bonko sigas because they don't understand <laughs> yeah, when passion is something that's that you passion level vision your mind it's hard for someone to understand it but you know you were stuck on like that we, we we stuck to what we we thought was was best for the boys in chabalala especially like just if you look at it, how our father bangani baba dawa just daga mizo and all that we stuck to our vision so support the club Now we've got a few people that come in and help us. We have we food to meet there right now. They help us. Uh, we have an agreement with them. We have a couple of guys who want to remain silent. They send us their monies. They give us a lot of refreshments. And we're still, we're still engaging a couple of people. You know, as a, a club that's growing, we need more people to come in. And Tina, for us, it's easy to go to one to send them because... my office put pages they show you from the beginning up to now so you see it growth here to from from 2015 up until now uh, so what would be your message maybe to someone who's watching this and they also want to chip in with something what would be your message to them then our message first is come and be part of our family come on our weekends and watch the boys play then when you enjoy that you seeing a seven year old playing great football seeing the atmosphere that's around the Sizinda when we play games tina we want to encourage anyone or tani bora to come and watch us first then it club it will we will sell it on its own because what we have done and what we're trying to do oh ah uh, strong ways there from udube uh, eh so if a professional partner eh lapanu lo kona ko lakho kuncane ah you can come through with it it will go a long way ah uh, in helping uh, in changing the lives of uh, the youngsters and then put us since its foundation in 2015 up until now akhona ina badlali yese ke laba groma asebedlala la ku division 1 badlala ku premier ku bese bephumile badlala any notable players that have come from Mr. Brass Revolution that are making it out there uh, so far this year we got one player uh, Brighton Ngobe man ninja is playing for Chicken right now he came through through us we have uh, Kimicho Osbanda is playing for Challenge Vision and we have 
our own boys that we, we, we know in a couple of years they're going to be in the Premier League. We have a 15-year-old now who's playing our division, our division two team, Mr. Nube. He's really great talent. We have Utawanda Shenji, he's 19. A really another potential player who was in a couple of years be playing. We have Trevor Mkwakwa. These are boys that we see the future for them. So, what am I saying? And I will go to you will be willing to let the boys Jango Brighton that is one is a chicken in. I'm sure it's an inspiration to other players that played with him that are also in the team. But I watch I move a set that we can still make it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's quite uh, interesting for, for our fans because what you know are the training with him, same field. Same equipment, everything final. But it's about chance. Football is about chance. If you have the right channels for, for, for the boys, it's easy to get them there. Do you know what you want to do? You want to create an atmosphere where they train professionally where we are. We in a hamba anyway. They have a chance to, to, to get that contract. So with Uma Ninja being there, he's their brother. Bah was with you what it takes for them with because they watched him do the day to work, the trainings, the extra trainings, they are born to, 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 to be successful. So you're evolutionary to a long amount of development fees, Lokana? Uh, Lokana, it's, it's not my job to say some Patel executives <laughs> <laughs> talk about that. <laughs> what I, would do, I do is making sure these boys they get the right channels. Mm-hmm. You know, we get we have a coach like Ucho uh, Andy Pasi Chicken in. Mm-hmm. We have Uno Menua Pesa. They've given us the platform. To, to bring players to come there and, 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 and show what they can do. Mm-hmm. And the uh, Hamza, a couple of players to Platinum for training. Some of them will be going there for, for a preseason next year, which shows what you, what you are doing. Uh, it's, it's impressive because if you get play teams like Platinum and Shikanin looking at our players, what more can you ask for? Mm-hmm. Then, in terms of how has the team been performing, I'm sure it's also yes, I like more Professional junior leagues in Joseph and Jalo, how have the boys been doing? And the Zico and Aini, maybe in case was a game has been a little less. Since 2015, we have won three trophies. We first it was the, uh, the tournament they are calling at, at Relton. This was in 20, 2016. Then we played the four goals tournament two years in a row and we won uh, both times. So in terms of playing, 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 and winning trophies, we have won a couple. In the beginning of the year, we played uh, a tournament at Blaue Fiesta mm-hmm. uh, for under 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 20 boys, and they won the trophy. So we've been doing well in in, in, the, in that in that in that manner. Then the Kiona one, I also. Yeah, we registered our under 13 boys, mm-hmm. and uh, we were in the finals for the Kiona trophy. So we'll see how it goes, but. With the way we, we see our boys play mm-hmm. and the belief we have in our boys, I mm-hmm. uh, feel like that's going to be in, in our cabinet as well. Oh, uh, we wish you well in that final level. Um, uh, I think uh, flying stars in Kulman and uh, flying stars in Kulman. Oh, uh, so we wish Zebra's revolution good luck in that final uh, where they're going to be playing flying stars. Uh, then shifting focus, Zephuna's coming at junior development in the country. Where are we? When I'm going to where are we? And uh, where are we missing it? Just recently, we saw Marvelous Nakamba uh, financing the Marvelous Nakamba Foundation under 17 tournament, but it was worked with a lot of controversy. It's overaged players participating. Why? Why are we doing that? What, what do you think should be done so that we can develop? Proper young players that will develop from the uh, young age group up until this is what we maybe say the national team one day. Yeah, I think the, the, the problem starts with, with the club in particular. If your club is on vision and knowing that age, t- age, age cheating is, is a no no for you guys, it becomes easy. Because it's so easy to blame other guys in other teams, but what is your own club doing? Are you doing the right things? Is, is your team, does it have the right structure? Do you employ the right kind of people to, 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 to develop youngsters? Because if your club has a, has a vision 
and your vision you must support whatever you're doing. So I feel like it's the owners on the clubs to look at their own selves and have a structure that you won't allow a shit. So in a way, Kiapi, I'm not sure if you're going to ask for no one's imagine or a fan, but rather have a vision of developing players so that they can be better players tomorrow. You know, with our team, we, we can lose five nothing. Mm. Playing the way we play, the way the way we train them, we we don't have a problem with that, because we are trying to develop these guys for the professional level, where you can take a guy from 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 a junior team and go to to, to the Premier League, and this is what we we just did, and other 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 teams we have teams that got uh, Premier League teams that got development developmental teams, right? But they're not producing players. Do we have the right kind of people to, to develop players? Are we hiring the right, right kind of coaches to develop those players? These are questions that each and every club should ask for themselves. Oh, ah, uh, this way I see men kulimile. So as a team, you just need to have the right vision, uh, the vision to develop players because we really need uh, players that are going to represent the country, that are going to raise the national flag high uh, when they are playing for clubs outside the country and also that are going to donor that uh, uh, Zimbabwe and Jersey, so the ladies squad, you know, hey, under 17 and as, under 20, under 23, uh, so then Pranko, uh, in terms of his support maybe from um, all stakeholders, Singa Kangeli is a press revolution, maybe starting from is a press revolution. Uh how has been the support like uh, in terms of what is a press revolution you see when you go to see corner chimia wobula uh, and you also spoke about people chipping in Abanyabanga for new kulum. Maybe in terms of um, supporters and also other potential even uh, among teams uh, how have you been working together with other uh, clubs that are also developing players I'm sure what about Las Palmas they are also here in friends in just in general how have you been working together in making sure that you develop players uh, that are going to do well tomorrow yeah I, I think now what you're asking is is, is an interesting question because you know there, there are other teams that are struggling financially not that we have the money, no, but we, we help out other teams that we know, we give them a couple balls, we give them a couple uh, equipment. There are other teams who need uniforms, you know. So if we, we have extra, we try to help the other teams. But now when it comes to, to, to the vision, right, we have one, our own vision. Sometimes when you try to, 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 to tell someone or give someone advice, they take it as arrogance. Which, which is where we have a problem. I feel like anybody can learn something from anyone at any given time. We are not saying we are the best or we are doing fantastic, no. I'm saying if we have a conversation, I'll, I'll get one, one, one something special from you that I'll go and use it in my club. If all of us were level-headed and we can try to listen and learn from other guys, I think that, that's going to be better for, for, for Blau as a province. And then just talk about <coughs> you, you spoke about other teams striking probably maybe to offer uh, motivations be it on a there's some other teams that cannot afford that and as you go on ever faced that what he so we play a maybe like the other is a lago successful one as it is a little rasta FC sedicating my booty now the worst FC will in just in general and how can we keep that yeah you see it's, it's a trick it's a trick one because if you if you look at, at at how teams are doing what's your structure what do you do when you get a player do you have an agreement with the parents to write down that he play LA's are will me for this next couple of years. If you involve the parents, that's the best way you can do it. But if you, the parents doesn't even know the coach, he doesn't even know where the team plays, it becomes a disadvantage to you. If you go to any of my players, right, and you try, you try to get him or to sign anything, they will go home with those papers. The first call I get, I get from the parents because we have a relationship with the parents. So I feel like the best way you can do it to avoid such is to engage the parents and have an agreement with the parents. Because we're dealing with minors most of the times. 
So we need we 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 need uh, their, their 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 parents' approval for them to be in our teams. The moment you have an agreement with the parents, the better for your team. Oh, uh, you get for yourself. The best way to go about it is to engage the parents. Make sure that the parents know what umfana ngai chase school. We are jali poru, we are jala ngabi. Adeni apramko, I'm sure they sit close to talker. They could be a lot. They say Maybe your final words uh, to all those that love the Brazil revolution. Never jalu we are lose we bugel. Never any me papa ngaza give we all we sit. Ah, good thing we bugel the team is that is quite good. It is in jal. What would be your message to people out there? My message is very simple. We are a team that wants to empower the youth. We are a team that wants to give back to the community because where where you are where we are located is where we grew up. Most of the guys were from there. So they see us as their role models. We want to be role models in every aspect of of life. Football, education, and just to be a, a, a humble and a, and be a good a, a good human being. So my message to everyone who wants to come join us you are invited at any given time to come and be part of us come watch our games come watch the under 11s come watch the under 13s then later in the afternoon you watch the division 2 team then you see the growth that we have done in the last couple of years oh uh, that was uh, the president you can yeah. <laughs> the president of Azze Brazil Revolution. Kokeli Mshoza Tube. Uh, he had joined us today in the episode 22 of the Skalo podcast where we're talking about the Zebra's Revolution. It's team here, Chavalala. So, this is where you can take him there. I was going to say, but I'm going to say, 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 i am going to say 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 i am